everybody. Alright, so today I'm going to bring you another of my top five picks. Okay, so you'll see me doing this a lot because I don't have the best memory, so I always won't remember what I'm trying to talk about, sadly, and I'm sorry. Alright, but today's video is going to be on Pokemon. Gen 1 Pokemon, to be exact. So I'm going to be bringing you a series of these top 5 picks that list my 5 favorite Pokemon from each generation. Because I am a huge Pokemon fan, so I want to be able to bring to you all of them that I love. <laughs> Alright, so my number 5 pick on this Gen 1 list is Mew. I'm a sucker for a good cat, and it's pink, so I can't help it. I like that it's strong, I like that it has its technically an evolution with Mewtwo, even though they're their own separate things. Mewtwo wouldn't be around if Mew hasn't wasn't around. So. And of course, Mew also helped create Ditto, which if any of you are Pokemon breeders out there like I am, Ditto is fantastic. <laughs> Just for that. I've never actually tried to battle with a Ditto, so I actually have no opinion other than, oh hey, good for breeding. Alright, my number four pick is Moltres. I love fire, I love, I don't love birds, but I love a fire bird, I love a good phoenix. Um, yeah, Moltres is just awesome. I just, I like the design of it, I like that it's a bird on a fire, uh, it's sleek. It kind of looks like it's where well, they would try to do a phoenix, but it doesn't quite have the curved beak of a phoenix, but I still like it no matter what, and that's my number four pick. Alright, my number three pick is Scyther. I love that little scissor hand bug. Oh, so awesome. That's actually one of the first trading cards when I started collecting them. That was the first trading card that I got was a Scyther. Like, way back when, when they had trading cards, I had them. You know, I, I had a couple of different, like, evolutions and stuff like that, but nothing big. Like, I got the gold cards from Burger King, if you guys remember those. They came in a Pokeball. There was, like, a Jigglypuff and a Pikachu... I don't remember anymore. It's been a long time. But anyway, Scyther was the first one that I ever got and decided, hey, I want to actually collect these. So Scyther started me out on that. And it was the only real bug in the first generation that I liked. Like, Butterfly was cute, but I'm like, mmm, it's a butterfly. And I don't, I'm not a fan of moths. So Venomoth, I'm like, sorry. But. It was the first real bug that I liked. Alright, so my number two pick is Pidgeot. Well, technically the entire Pidgey family. But I just, I love Pidgeot. I love the look of it. I love how strong it is, how fast it is. I just, that's, whenever I need a good flyer in my party and I don't like the bird of a, of a particular generation, I will always go from the backup with a Pidgeot. Now it's going to be no surprise what my number one pick is. That's right, it's Eevee. And I could have picked Vaporeon because out of Gen 1 with the evolutions, that's my favorite. But no, just standard Eevee. Without Eevee, I wouldn't have anything else. So yeah, just I absolutely love that it's the evolution Pokemon. But it's really the only one of its kind that is the evolution. Um, I read somewhere that they tried to link Eevee with Arceus. Like, I don't know if you've read that, like, Vaporeon would turn into Syracuse and uh, Flareon would turn into Entei and Jolteon into Raikou. I don't know if you've ever read that between the generations. But I also read somewhere that people are trying to say that Eevee would turn into Arceus because they basically have the same ability in a way. Eevee can't become anything. Granted, the Game Freak has not made all of the evolution types that Eevee can be, but it is possible. And 
as you know Arceus you put a different plate on it and it could do that type so I can kind of see the connection I'm not really sure on it but it's there I can see it I hope <laughs> Because Arceus is really cool, and I've seen uh, fan art of the Arceus Eevee. So pretty. White Eevee with the different color stones around its neck for what uh, evolution it's going to turn into. I wish those fan artists would also put on what it would look like with the different elements, because that would also be awesome. Alright, so that is today's top five picks of Gen 1 Pokemon. Alright, I'm so glad that you watched. Leave me a comment down below and hit that like button so that I know that you do enjoy these videos that I make. And yeah, I will talk to everyone later. Alright, bye!